Hey everybody, it's Michael here with another uh, 3D printing video. Today uh, we're going to be installing Pronterface on Ubuntu Linux. And I've had a couple of people ask questions about this and it seemed like it was uh, a pretty good candidate to uh, go ahead and just do a demonstration video on how to acquire and install Pronterface. Uh, I've got a uh, page open here of uh, just Mozilla Firefox. You can use whatever browser you like. Uh, I happen to like this one. I am also, by the way, running Ubuntu 13.04. 13.10 uh, should be out here pretty soon. I don't think the uh, process is going to be any different. Uh, in any case, I'm going to go up here to the search bar and I'm going to uh, type in, as I already have here, Clement GitHub. And that's Clement, K-L-I-M-E-N-T, and then uh, GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B. Uh, Clement is the uh, developer of Pronterface who has done a whole lot for the RepRap and 3D uh, printing community. And uh, Google comes up with uh, at those search terms uh, right there. First result is uh, github.com slash Clement. And uh, this is Clement's page. And in the popular repository section, we have Print Run, which is what we're after. And that includes Pronterface, Pronsole, Print Core, all the other Python-based 3D um, printing tools. So I'm just going to hit and click on Print Run. And in here we see all the files and all the directories that uh, make up uh, Pronterface, or I should say uh, Print Run, which does include Pronterface as one of its components. Now we're not going to be downloading these all at once, or I'm sorry, one at a time or anything like that. We're going to go over here to this button right here which says Download Zip. As you can see, that's going to download this repository as a single zip file, so I'm just going to click on that once. And then I'm going to get the... Um, the download dialog. I'm just going to open it with the archive manager. Feel free to save it to disk if you like, if that's uh, something you want to keep around, which is not a bad idea at all. And once this archive opens up, we see that it essentially just has one top level directory, and that's print run master. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that. Now you can put this anywhere you want. Um, in your in your home directory or anywhere else where you're going to be able to get to it. Uh, in my home directory, I have created a um, an empty directory just called Pronterface for this demonstration. So I'm just going to ensure that it's empty and uh, extract the whole um, the whole archive there. And uh, extraction was completed successfully. We'll just show the files just to see that it is in fact there. And sure enough, we've got all these things here, which are the uh, elements that we need for running uh, Print Run, which again includes Pronterface. So I'm just going to close all this stuff out because we're not going to need it. And now I'm going to hit uh, Control Alt T to bring up a terminal in Ubuntu and because we're going to be using the website and the uh, terminal at the same time I'm just going to right click on the uh, title bar right here and select this to always be on top so we can move this partly out of the way here um, while we do the things we need to do. Okay now I'm going to CD into Pronterface uh, which is where I left that uh, where I put that uh, archive that I downloaded and then I'm going to CD again into print run dash master and if we look at these files we see that we have indeed everything that we uh, downloaded just now. So there's a couple things we need to make sure of before we can install this uh, and I'm just going to scroll down on Clement's page here. Uh, we have This is the readme file and we have getting print run for Windows, Mac OS uh, and then onto Linux. Uh, we're using Ubuntu, which is of course a uh, very close relative of Debian, and uh, we are going to be running this directly from sources. There are no packages available yet, as it says here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fetch and install these dependencies, which are a few Python packages. I'm going to one, two, three click on this line of code right here, uh, right click and copy, and then here's a little trick that I like to use once we're back in the um, terminal. Shift Control V allows me to paste into a terminal window. And uh, this is a, um, uh, a command to just install all that stuff. It is a sudo command, which means we are running this with administrator privileges. So I'm going to put in my administrator password. And there we go. Now, I have actually already got all this stuff installed, and you may too. Uh, if not, it will ask you, uh, do you want to install this? And the correct answer, of course, is yes. And then it'll sit there and crunch away and do some things. And then eventually you'll get... Um, something that says deferred processing taking place, which means it's downloaded everything and it's getting it all set up. Um, okay, now that we've done that, there's one other command we need to do, and that is right below on this next line right here. This is a pip command. Okay, one, two, three, click, copy, and once again, paste into the terminal window, shift, control, V, and hit enter, and it's going to um, 
download and unpack some more stuff from GitHub. Uh, I think GitHub is a really wonderful and powerful tool, and quite frankly, I wish I understood a little better just how to use it, because uh, I know that it does more than what I know that it can do. Okay, well, we got a little uh, error there. One, it looks like something um, didn't get installed, permission denied, which probably means that command might have been better run as a as a sudo command. But we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, now we've got both of those uh, commands finished, so we're almost done with uh, with this process right here. And if I uh, go ahead and look at the files again, we're still in the uh, print run dash master directory, and we have. Uh, this one right here, setup.py, is what we want to run. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run that as super user. So sudo uh, dot slash setup.py, and, and I've learned from previous experience that there, you, this command is also expecting another command. So in this case, what we want to do is say install. And uh, there's some other things that we'll do, removing and reconfiguring, things like that. But we want to install it, so um, that's the command we're going to type. OK, and it has moved everything. and, and got everything set up the way it needs to and changed all its permissions so that we are now ready to go. Now once again, look at the files and the uh, right here we see we have pronterface.py and to run that we're simply going to do a dot slash pronterface.py and from here we see that the pronterface uh, main window has opened. Now uh, as it stands right now, um, the way that you are going to have to run this is by opening a terminal and typing uh, the full command. In in my case, it would be um, I would be typing uh, home slash Michael slash pronterface slash pronterface dot py. Now that is kind of um, that's a little bit uh, uh, cumbersome, so. What I'm going to do is set up an alias, and I'm actually going to close Pronterface right now to get my uh, command prompt back in this terminal. And, uh, and if I were to just type the word alias right here, I can see that I've got a bunch of aliases already set up in, uh, oh, I have an error in one of them there. That's interesting. Okay. Um, and I've uh, set this up here. This is my actual um, uh, alias that I have on my computer so that I can run this just about anywhere. Uh, and the way that I have done this, I've, I've specified an alias pronterface. So anytime I type pronterface equals, and then this command that's in the quotes right here, which is uh, tilde, which indicates my home directory, slash apps, slash print run dash master, slash pronterface dot py. Now the demonstration that I just did was in a different directory uh, where I actually have um, Pronterface for real is in my in, in my home directory. I have an apps directory, and in that I have the print run master, and there it is. Now, the easiest way probably to uh, set this up is to um, is to edit a file called dot bash underbar aliases. So I'm just going to do a g edit, um, and it's going to be home. So uh, bash. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be dot bash. Oops, excuse me. If I can type underbar aliases. And this is a little file that contains all of the uh, um, aliases that I'm going to be using. And as you can see here, I have one set up for slicer also, including a, in what I think is an easier way to spell slicer. But right here, this line here, alias, which sets up, which establishes that it's an alias, pronterface, which is the command that I'm typing, equals, and then I have the line, um, the path all the way to pronterface.py and I have that in single quotes. Once I have saved this file, uh, anytime that I uh, boot up or whenever I start a new session uh, by opening a new terminal, uh, that's gonna it's gonna load all those aliases and then I can just type from any directory anywhere um, on my computer. I can just type pronterface and it's gonna open pronterface. And just to demonstrate that, I will close dot bash aliases and I will just do the cd command which takes me back to my home directory and I just type pronterface Oops, and it opens up. If you want to get really clever, and this is a uh, this was going to be another video, you can actually create a .dot uh, desktop file, and you can actually store this in your menu bar, like I have right here. I have Pronterface right there, uh, but again, that's going to be for another video. So right here, this is the uh, short version of how to download and install uh, Pronterface 
on Ubuntu Linux 13.04 and probably later versions. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this was uh, informative and enjoyable. Um, we'd love to hear from you if you have any comments or questions. I would especially love to hear from you if I've done something stupid and, uh, and, and if you can help me avoid the train wreck, I'd sure appreciate that. In any case, thanks very much for watching and uh, once again, as they say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.